What is up, all my beautiful people? I hope you guys are having a great week and congratulations on making it to yet another Friday. Today is episode 58 of my weekly Friday Positivities and Shoutouts. And from the bottom of my heart, anybody hanging out in chat, anybody watching on the recap, anybody that's been rocking with me since episode one, thank you, thank you, thank you. I always like to just say thank you and uh, it really means a lot. This series, I say it before, I'll always say it again, is something I'm the most proud of. I think mental health, positive message, you know, positive vibes, you know, anxiety, depression. As collectors, as human beings, it's something that always needs to be, you know, forefront. It's always something that needs to be highlighted and something that always needs to be talked about. And it's something on my channel that I'm glad to have a little corner and a little time to just sit here and share uh, some of my personal experiences, some of my thoughts, and uh, hopefully it just helps somebody. So today, with everything going on, I like to kind of share it and theme it with what's going on in the world, what's going on in my life, and we'll talk about that after the quote. But it is from Wilma Rudolph, and it is, winning is great, sure, but if you are really going to, uh, really going to do something in life, the secret is learning how to lose. And that can be applied to generally anything. Uh, us as humans, you know, it's tough for us to accept defeat, it's tough for us, you know, to accept failure, but uh, I just wanted to touch, you know, with the CBC Awards, all that kind of coming to a close and me personally being nominated and being a finalist for Community Builder Award and something I like to take very, very serious. And I take huge pride with it because my first year of YouTube, you know, I'm a finalist for that category. And I like to think it's, you know, for hanging out in chats, you know, commenting on other people's videos. But I hope you guys voted for me because of this series and like I said I, I, it's very very proud and very humbling to be alongside of some of the people in the community that I really look up to and uh, I just wanted to take a second like I said win or lose I am just absolutely honored and humbled and I can't wait to see all the uh, the finalist show the award show and stuff like that a lot of my homies and a lot of my main guys that have started with me in the year are up there too so it's an absolute honor to be up there with some of the big dogs in the community and people I've looked up for in this whole year and take a lot of inspiration for <clears throat> so again just again thank you because uh, for the award show it's just really, really, really a huge part of my life. It's something that uh, anybody watching this, it's how we basically met. Uh, I found Breakfast with Brian from s 82 He brought me into the community and the award show was one of the first thing I saw. So again, if I lose, I'm just happy for everybody being there and I'm absolutely humbled. And that can be taken into any aspect of life. If you go get a new job, it doesn't work out. You don't get the job you wanted. You know, you don't get what the car you wanted. You don't get whatever you wanted. It's not the end of the world. Because like I said, us as humans, me especially, sometimes failure, sometimes disappointment can really, really hit hard. Especially somebody like me that suffers from anxiety, depression, and all that other stuff. So uh, I've learned to really, really take failure, not really failure, but a losing, because well, failure is not really the word we're looking for here. It's more losing in just a sense. Could be a race, like I said, a video game or anything. And I always use that as a learning experience, you know, grow from that, do better, and use it as a learning experience to kind of build yourself. So again, thank you for anybody rocking with me, to all the people that voted for me, to all the people that are nominated or finalists. You guys are absolute legends. I love you to death. And I couldn't be more proud of each and every one of you in this community. And for anybody that wasn't even nominated, it doesn't matter because again, it's all for fun. It's all just a fun way to get everybody together. And the biggest thing for me is new channels get highlighted and it brings this whole community together. So we'll move on to the CBC Awards before we are not the, sorry, my brain is all over the place. It was a very long day at work. The shout out board, I just want to wish everybody out there a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Hopefully you have safe travels. Hopefully you see the family, everything. Enjoy your time with them. You never know what can happen in the span of a year. A lot of us, this is the only time we kind of get to see this family. So again, Thanksgiving is next Thursday, so I won't see you guys with my Friday positivity until then. But again, please have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. So we'll move on to the shout outs, leave hashtag shout out on any one of my videos and I'll get you added on the board. Just like to highlight all the community members that are on this board, they're all in the description. You click on one of them, go find yourself a new channel. Phil Tastic Comics and Art, Darren Gilmore, David's Comics and Wrestling, Cole's Comics Claims, Wahoo Comics, Trev the Shipping Guru, Zach's Collections, Brian LCS, Chop and Drop 2013, It's Natrix, Callie and Jordan Squad, Comics by the Bay, Cat Fan Comics Man, Joseph Michael, The Adventurous Joe, Christopher Rue, 
Just Your Average Geeks, Jean Mello, Evil's Comics, White Mojo Wolf, Dale Suspense Comics and Collectibles, Where'd You Get That, TM Nerdy, Tony's Diecast Customs, Swish Rips, Converse, Couch and Slouching with C. Bizzle, Psychotronic Squirt Gun Aaron, Ben Parker Comics, Collector Holic, Boyd, Jimmy G, Wellbor, Three Good Nerds, Colossus Collector, Ryan Riley, and Identity Crisis. All them legends are in the description. Go, go show them some love. So again, happy and safe Thanksgiving. Please it's be safe in your travels. If you're flying, if you're you know driving, whatever it may be, no distractions. Keep your eyes on the road and be safe. I love you all to death. I hope to see you on my Sunday night sesh this Sunday at 7 p.m. And as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.